Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. Hope that you're doing well. So a little bit ago, I did a first impression on Montblanc Starwalker Extreme. So that is a flanker to the original Starwalker that came out in 2005 that just popped up at Nordstrom Rack. This is the weirdest thing that I think I have ever seen as far as new releases from major fragrance houses. So Starwalker Extreme comes out a flanker of a fragrance that came out in 2005. No announcement, no anything from the brand. It just pops up at Nordstrom Rack. Not Nordstrom, okay? Not Macy's. The TJ Maxx version of Nordstrom. That's where it shows up. It's actually pretty good though. I like it. But what are you doing, <laughs> Mont Blanc? Like you go through the whole process of making a new fragrance, which isn't super cheap and then you you think to yourself should we i don't know should we like tell anybody we did this or 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 you know literally anything nah let's just friggin put it in nordstrom rack man who cares so that's wild enough because star walker is very much an underground fragrance the original one that's not something that sells like crazy and actually that's been talked about as being discontinued for a long time so to see a flanker of that is just but Mont Blanc wasn't done, baby. No, if you thought Starwalker Extreme was it, you're wrong. Check this out. <laughs> yeah, Individuel Tonic. A, a flanker, of course, to Individuel, which came out in 2003. So, boy, what are you doing? <laughs> Let's just roll the whole intro thing and, and jump into this. Okay, so this one I picked up from Canada, a store called Maximum Fragrance. Maximum Fragrance. Put that to like some heavy metal. Maximum. But I picked it up from there. Uh, I think it was about $30 for the bottle, somewhere right around there and then shipping. It was a little bit under 50 if memory serves correctly, but it's a legitimate store. There are a lot of people up in Canada, Canadian frag members who vouched for the store. And since I bought this, it's actually started to pop up a couple other places. And uh, again, I'm just kind of like, what is happening here? Individual is more well known than Starwalker, of course but it came out almost two decades ago. You know, this is not the legend line from Mont Blanc. This is not the Explorer line. This is a, basically a one-off fragrance, which makes me wonder, and I mean this honestly, is there gonna be a flanker of Mont Blanc presence that just pops out here in, in like the very short term future or um, exceptionnel, you know, one of their other fragrances? Is, is that gonna just get a new flanker? Look, I have no clue, but we're gonna crack into this, check it out, and I'll link this one in the description in case you wanna pick it up for yourself. It's super cool. I mean, I'm psyched that there's just a random flanker that like drops out of the sky with no announcement whatsoever. That's insane, but I'll, I'll take it. It's pretty cool. And uh, before I open it, the notes for this fragrance are, I have no effing idea because Mont Blanc did not put out anything on this fragrance. There's no information. So the notes are, I don't know. The bottle's green. Uh, so it has notes of absinthe and uh, notes of uh, Yoshi from Super Mario Brothers. Maybe also Bowser. He could be in there. He's kind of green. What else is in here? Probably grass, notes of grass, lemon, grapefruit, patchouli, tonka, cashmere, isoe super, strawberries, uh, trees, brick notes of brick yeah there's a lot in here all right batch code on this uh the whole batch code 08 l27 l152 i think with mont blanc you just need the last four that'd be l152 and i want to give a quick shout out to the beast mode gents and also the fellow that let me know that this thing even existed you know who you are shout out to you i don't know if you want me to use your name so this is for you, shout out. And shout out to all the Beast Mode gents. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. You guys are the best, the Beast Mode gents. If you'd like to join the Beast Mode gents or any of the other tiers, click the join button below to check out the membership program or check out the link in the description. Back to the video. Let's take a look at the presentation, shall we? It's green, as you can see. It's got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration on the front. This is a 75 mil eau de toilette. Uh, nothing at the top, nothing on the sides. On the back, just a little info on Mont Blanc. And on the bottom, whoop, 
you have your ingredients and your batch code. There she blows. Individual tonic from Mont Blanc. It's a nice kind of evergreen color. Got a sticker on the bottom with your batch code and there is your cap, which clicks into place. A Mont Blanc symbol on top of the cap. I'll tell you guys before I spray this on, I'm a little bit weary of it being named tonic because in my experience, a lot of fragrances that are named tonic, a flanker named tonic, they end up coming across smelling pretty cheap. Let's see, let's give it a spray. All right. Yeah, it is green. It's got an alcohol kind of smell off the top. So I'm gonna let it dry down for a second. It's got that kind of effect when you spray a fragrance on and you smell too soon. Some fragrances smell basically like rubbing alcohol and then everything else underneath the rubbing alcohol. It's not super pleasant. So I'm gonna let it settle for like 15 seconds or so. Now, my very first impression was that it was quite green. It had this kind of uh, synthetic clean clothing kind of vibe on top of it as well. And it didn't remind me a huge amount of the original Individuelle, but then as it settled down and that alcohol kind of vibe dissipated, it started to uh, remind me a bit more of the original, which I'm gonna go ahead and grab and spray on this arm. So here the bottles are. Which one do you like more? Oh yeah, the original is way sweeter. Yeah, and the original has more depth to it too, right off the bat. Uh, smelling them side by side here, uh, the original does smell like the higher quality fragrance. Now that being said, Individual Tonic is not uh, displeasing or anything like that. It's clean, it's fresh. It, it's got some kind of, um, some ambroxany type feel on top of everything that's kind of giving it a fuzzy type nature. You know, that almost kind of like staticky feeling when you smell something like white noise almost, it's got that kind of vibe. Individual is deeper, it's louder. The original I'm talking about, it's sweeter. This one, uh, yeah, just kind of like fresh, synthetically green. I'm gonna go ahead and let this settle and dry down. I'll be right back in two seconds, to let you guys know how it changes and also compare it to the original. So I've let this dry down. Now, before I start talking about the fragrance, I do wanna say that performance wise, this one is not close to the original in terms of projection. And it seems like in terms of longevity, it's not gonna be close either. Now you probably wouldn't expect it to be because this is a flanker with the name of Tonic. So you're thinking it's gonna be lighter, fresher, and it is. The original Individual just kind of whoosh, swallowed this one up. So I sprayed two sprays of the original over here, four or five sprays over here, and then actually a couple more on my hand of tonic. And the only thing I was picking up as I moved around was the original. It just swallowed up Individual Tonic completely. So unfortunately, it looks like Individual Tonic in terms of performance. Uh, probably probably not gonna be great. Again, it's my first time wearing it and you would expect that with the name Tonic. But yeah, it doesn't appear to be a big time performer. Now the fragrance itself, uh, it takes on this aromatic feel as it heads through the mid. Uh, again, green like you would expect, uh, but it has this kind of ambroxany sort of undertone giving it a bit of a fuzziness, like a modern woodiness in the base, I'd say. There are probably also some florals in here. It smells like there's something like geranium, something along those lines that you pick up. And I would say uh, rosemary as well. In the opening, because again, I did spray it once again to pick up that opening. You really need to let it settle for about a minute because both times that I sprayed this on and I went to smell it pretty much right away, it didn't really smell very nice. You have to let it chill out. It smells like there's a little bit of citrus in the opening, this little pop of maybe like lemon or possibly orange, something like that. But it's not really, really big. You know, it's not a big, bright, juicy citrus or fruity open at all. Pretty much goes right away into that, that more aromatic, green, fresh uh, and modern kind of kind of vibe. There's a little sweetness around the edges of the fragrance, but it's not sweet, sweet. Like the original individual, you spray that on, smell it and you're like, <laughs> you, you get that sweetness right away for better or for worse. With this one, it's, it's not quite as in your face, that sweetness It's just painted around the edges. Now I'm going to try not to sound really harsh here, but to me, 
this fragrance just doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense. Now, Starwalker Extreme, it doesn't really have a lot to do with Starwalker, the original, like fragrance wise, two different things. And that one came out way after the original. So again, that one doesn't make a lot of sense either. But Starwalker Extreme, I think is a pretty nice fragrance for the price. So kind of one of those things where you, you just let it slide to an extent. You just look at it and you're like, well, it doesn't really make any sense, but it smelled pretty nice, I guess. So this one also doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I mean, smelling them side by side, they're really not close. Definitely doing their own thing. And, and frankly, Individual Tonic is probably closer to Explorer Ultra Blue from Mont Blanc than it is the original Individual. I'm not saying, by the way, to be clear, that this smells like Ultra Blue, <laughs> like this is an alternative to Ultra Blue, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying though that this is much more close to that fragrance than it is this one. So it just kind of, it, it, it kind of doesn't make sense. Again, you know, this came out nearly two decades ago, the original. You now you come out with the flanker, finally, you know, same bottle and everything else. It's the brother of Individual, and then you smell it and you just think to yourself, well, what the F does this have to do with Individual? Nothing. Fragrance wise, it does smell like something that should be about $25, $30. Uh, it doesn't really smell like a fragrance you'd want to pay much more for than that. At that price range, $25, $30, bucks, it could be serviceable for a lot of people in summer. You know, spring and summer, I think it worked fine. Office safe, for sure. It's got a touch of sophistication to it, touch of class. You know, it doesn't bash you over the head with sweetness. So you could pull it off in a, a bunch of different situations and it's going to appeal to a wide age range because, you know, maybe a middle aged guy or older wouldn't want something that bashes them in the head with sweetness. But there's enough of it there that younger guys can pull it off, too. It is, though, one of those fragrances that's going to be more of a dumb reach kind of scent. Going to be one of those fragrances that you just kind of spray on. You know that maybe it's not going to be the, the biggest compliment pulling thing. You know, it's not going to project the loudest. You know, it's not going to maybe smell the highest quality. It's going to be one of those fragrances. One of the ones you just grab, spray and go and you don't even think twice about it because it's just a cheapie that's fresh. That's about it. So while I don't dislike the way the fragrance smells, I'm not really not really impressed either. And I hate saying this uh, because I said this to an extent about Mont Blanc Explorer Ultra Blue, but Individual Tonic to me smells like kind of like a forgotten Azaro Chrome Flanker or something. It kind of has that feel like, uh, you know, maybe like in 20, 2010 to 2012 Azaro Chrome Flanker. Yeah, it's, it's kind of, kind of how it comes across. So at the price, I think it's fine. You know, $25, $30, that's about right. Uh, don't pay, you know, 50, 60, 70 for the bottle itself. At that point, you're not gonna be happy. I mean, it definitely, giving it the nose test, smells like it's not up to par in terms of the cost per kilogram with the original Mont Blanc Individual in terms of how much it costs to make. Uh, but I think it'd be serviceable as a dumb reach. Not too much more than that, probably. There we go, individual tonic. A bit of a letdown. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. Thanks for hanging with me today. If you've smelled this, let me know what you think about it. As always, thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.